construction workers only beyond this point, no entry period. We're in the Seabrook development phase of Nocatee. Phase one is coming to completion and end, and there's a lot of stuff going on beyond these fences. So what's going on in the next phase of Seabrook? Will it be called Seabrook? What size lots will be available back there? What builders are gonna be building their homes back there? And when is this gonna happen? Let's talk about that in this video, stick around. This is so exciting. Before I get into the next phase of after Seabrook Village, I've noticed right off the bat that the Seabrook Village um, Park, which is going to have one of the largest neighborhood pools in a community, um, are going to have, it's here, uh, it's actually got water in it. And we're in, what, March of making this video? So they said it was going to be ready in June of 2024 for summer. I'm thinking it might be done sooner because as you can tell, the vegetation is in, the trees are in, the playground's in, the dog park's in, the parking's in. So it looks like Seabrook Park is almost ready to be open and it might be open a little earlier than June. So we'll see what happens there. This is exciting times really because it's kind of bittersweet because we're at the end of a massive development. And so far here in Nocatee, if you watch my 2024 updates video, we talked about how Seabrook Village uh, phase of Nocatee around the park was going to come to an end. Crosswinds was the next development that they've been selling now, which is next to Pine Island Academy. I have a video about that. And then we talked about new affordable townhomes that would be developed called Woodland Park, which has now been open just this past weekend here in the beginning of March. And so what else is left in Nocatee, really? And the answer is, right after Seabrook Village is a whole nother section that is working their way north back towards the town center region right there by Willow Cove and Coastal Oaks. And back there, you'll see from our video footage, there's going to be a connection that they're talking about on the green belt where you can literally instead of having to go all the way around, you'll be able to cut through the back here on your golf cart and get to the town center in a much quicker span of time. So a lot of exciting things happen. But what's going on back there? Well, we just had the last meeting by the park group, the developer for realtors that are certified Nocatee realtors. And I was hoping that they would announce what they were going to do back here but they're not because we still have to sell crosswinds we still have to finish out the last few lots here in seabrook village so i had to take a look myself and use my handy videographer to get the bird in the air and see what's back there and it was interesting of what we saw we we're talking multiple cul-de-sacs we're talking a lot of lots back there being cleared out and the builders are not saying anything, the developers not saying anything, but if you've lived in Nocatee as long as I have and you've watched each neighborhood be developed, visually you can speculate that they're replicating kind of the same business model and so we're gonna see potentially some 40 foot lots. We're gonna see some 50 foot lots. And we may even see 60 foot lots. Now, I'm just speculating, I don't know. Don't hold me to it. But from the footage that I can see, there looks like somebody has been listening because we have a massive need for larger lots here in Nocatee and so I think someone might be listening and that opportunity might happen. Will it be Seabrook Phase 2? Will it be Seabrook Village Phase 3? 
Will it have another name? I don't know, but it could be. And so what I'm saying to folks is, is that they have not released a date yet, but speculation is probably around the summertime that they'll finally release pre-sales, which means at that time, you will be able to see some lots released, who the builders are. And right now they're working that out with the, the master developer. How it works is, is the developer allocates a certain amount of lots or sells lots to particular builders. And then the builders decide what uh, elevations, front look they're gonna have, what models they're gonna have. And so I say be prepared before that time and figure out what builders do you prefer? What lot is gonna suit your needs? And then how can you be prepared for that opportunity when it comes? Because this is the last phase. This is the last opportunity for larger lots. So don't wait. If you're thinking about moving in the area, find a qualified, qualified agent that already has a multitude of builds going on here with builders and get prepared. It costs you nothing to have someone to represent you on a new build. The sales reps work for the builders. They are looking out for the best interest of the builder. And so they pay a marketing fee or a commission to a broker to represent you to be an advocate on your behalf. And this can be a very tricky process and it's a long process, picking out a lot, getting the best lot, uh, picking out the right model and build, picking out the right features, and all that is not something you want to do alone, and it's not worth it. Why would you? It costs you nothing. They're not going to sell you a home at a lower price because you don't have an agent. That would ruin their comps. So it's in your best interest to have somebody that's in the area that has the inside scoop and get prepared ahead of time. Don't wait. This is going to be the most exciting project coming in the pipeline. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Check out more of my videos here in Nocti. I love living here. Love to be your neighbor. I'll see you on that next video.